that we find dy dx or f prime x for each of the following functions. So when you differentiate, you write as d dx of fx is equal to f prime x. So this is a very important concept. So when you differentiate the function, you will get dy dx or we can call as first derivative f prime x means dy dx function is y or can be written as fx so from y you differentiate you get dy dx or you can say from fx you differentiate you got x prime x okay there are two ways of writing uh, dy dx you can write as dy dx or you can write as f prime x so when you integrate is a reversing process integrate the dy dx you will get y or integrate the f prime x you will get the fx plus c the plus c is very important okay so let's see the example in the table Okay, so the, the integration is a reversing process of differentiation. You can see from the arrow. Okay, let's see the example from the table. So from the table, you have uh, y equal to 3x squared plus 3x minus 1. So you differentiate, you got dy dx equal to 6x plus 3. So when you integrate your 6x plus 3, which is your dy dx, you get 3x squared plus 3x plus c. And the c can be any constant value, which is uh, like example in the table, your c is negative 1 for the first one, and your c is 4 for the second one, okay, and the c is negative 8 for the third one. So the values of the c depends on the point that lies on the function. Or lies on the curve so every time when you integrate a function please remember to write the C and after you write the C uh, please use a point given to solve the constant substitute into the function or substitute into the Y to get the value of the C so for integration the very basic skills is you must understand that integration is reversing process of the differentiation so when you integrate your dy dx you will get back the y okay plus the c okay so i think uh, if you look at the table the value of c can be any number so please remember uh, it depends on the point given for you to solve the constant so if uh, the question give you dy dx they ask you to find y so what you need to do is you just integrate the dy dx after you integrate the dy dx you write plus c yeah? ok let's see the example here I give you y equal to 2x minus 1 to the power of 3, right? So, you are asking to show that dy dx is equal to 6 times 2x minus 1 square. And hence, find the integration of 3 times 2x minus 1 square dx. So, okay. So, you are given y. You also given dy dx. So it seems like they ask you to find the integration of the 3 times 2x minus 1 square. So the first step is you write down your y, which is 2x minus 1 to the power of 3. And you also write down your dy dx. Okay, because the dy dx was given in the question. So, the dy dx is 3 times 2x minus 1, 3 minus 1, and then times the 
two. This is the chain rule. Okay. So this one is you use a formula for the chain rule to find the dy/dx. The then you just multiply the three and two become six. Then the bracket you copy two x minus one square. Okay. So the six stay outside. Yeah, don't multiply inside the bracket because the power are different. So that means from the y, you find the dy dx and show the step how you find the dy dx. Now, you have to use the concept of integrate the dy dx, which is six times two x minus one square dx, is equal to the y. The y is. 2x minus 1 to the power of 3. So you just copy down your y as 2x minus 1 to the power of 3. That means you are applying the concept of integration, the dy dx. You will get the y plus c. This is a concept that I just explained to you. Okay? So when you integrate your dy dx, you will get the y. And the y here is 2x minus 1 to the power of 3 plus c. Alright, but you see the question, don't want the 6. The 6 now become 3. So it means that you have to divide uh, both sides, left side and right hand side with the 2. So that you can get what the question asks you to find, which is, Integrate 3 times 2x minus 1 square dx. Okay, so your answer will be half of the answer just now. is 2x minus 1 power 3 divided by 2 plus c. So this should be the answer for what the question asks you to find. Integrate 3 times 2x minus 1 square dx. Okay, the so the answer now become 1 over 2 times 2x minus 1 to the power of 3 plus c. Okay, so now we see one question given there. Okay. So uh, for the first question example, we actually use a concept of the integration of the dy dx is equal to y plus c. So remember to write the C. Okay, for the question 1 given there. So you are given the question Y equal to bracket X plus 1 over X square. And you have to show that dy dx equal to 2X plus, uh, minus 2 over X cubed. And after that, after you show, you have to find the integration of... Uh, x minus 1 over x cubed dx okay so for question like this normally we will start with uh, differentiation okay how to do differentiation for y equal to x plus 1 over x square first thing is you need to do expansion so your y is x plus 1 over x square so square means multiply by itself huh? So we just use expansion first. We, before we integrate, we have to expand. So x plus 1 over x times x plus 1 over x, okay? So x times x will be x squared, okay? x times 1 over x, you get 1. 1 over x times x also 1, so 1 plus 1 is 2. Then 1 over x times 1 over x, you will get x negative 2. Then only you do dy dx. So dy dx is 2, bring the power to in front, 2x, 2 minus 1. When you see the constant, you differentiate, you get 0. Then negative 2, we bring down x, negative 2, minus 1. Okay, negative 2, minus 1 will be negative 3. Okay, now we simplify the dy dx to the simplest form. So we will have the 2x um, minus uh, 2x negative 3. Alright, 2x minus 2 over x 3. Okay, x negative 3 will bring down become x positive, positive 3. So dy dx is 2x minus 2 over x power 3. Okay, now after you dy dx, now you look at what the question want you to integrate. 
okay that is uh, a little bit different with our dy dx but it's okay we just integrate our dy dx okay no matter how we will use a concept of integrate the dy dx equal to y so now we integrate our dy dx which is 2x minus 2 over x cubed so when you integrate this dy dx you will get back your y okay y is x plus 1 over x power 2 don't forget to plus c then only you refer to the question the question that asks you to integrate don't have 2 right so that means you need to cancel out the 2 so but if you want to cancel out the 2 you have to divide your left with the 2 and the right also divided by 2 okay or you can say you multiply by 1 over 2 for both sides left and right so the final answer if you integrate the x minus 1 over x cubed dx you will get the function x plus 1 over x squared divided by 2 and don't forget you need to plus the c all right so uh, no matter how when you do this kind of question when you see the y is given, when you see dy dx is given, when you see the integrate, okay, the function. So you will have to start with, you have to start with what? You have to start with the integration is a reversing process of differentiation. Okay, every year when this kind of question come out, when the y is given, dy dx given, and they ask you to integrate, so many students will forget the concept. Okay, so they cannot do. So what you need to do is you write down the concept. When you integrate the dy dx, okay, you'll get the y plus c. So just jot down on a piece of paper and try to go through as many times as possible so that you can memorize a concept when you can memorize a concept then it's easy for you to apply okay so for additional max we have got many concepts so you need to apply you need to practice so that you can perform okay for integration we got many subtopic huh? so we have uh, definite integral we have indefinite integral so uh, for indefinite integral so we will plus c okay we have plus c for definite integral we will get the value okay the answer will be in terms of number so now we want to find the indefinite integrals so normally when you want to integrate you have to use a formula Number one is integrate a constant. Constant means a number. You get the constant with the x plus c. Number two is you integrate x power n dx. You get x n plus one over n plus one plus c. And number three is integrate the number times with the x n. So you will get the number times x n over n plus one plus c. So we will use the three formula here to solve the a and b. So if you integrate 4x, 3, minus 2x plus 3 dx. So you will get, okay, by using the formula there, you get 4 and then x and the power is 3. So you need to raise the power by plus 1. So it will become 4x uh, 3 plus 1. We use the formula number 1 and number 3. Okay. Number 1 and number 3. So uh, number 3 is you take the power plus 1 over power being plus 1. And number 1 is you integrate the constant. You will get a constant with the x. Okay. Plus c. So that is how you integrate. So you will get 4x3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 minus 2x, okay, 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 plus 3x plus c, okay. So this is using the formula. So after you raise the power by 1, 
you have to simplify to the simplest form so it become 4x4 4 over 4 minus 2x square over 2 plus 3x plus c then finally you must make sure you simplify to the simplest form so the 4 and 4 can be cancelled out and 2 and 2 can be cancelled out so your answer will be the simplest form okay all the answer must be simplified so your answer is x4 minus x square plus 3x plus c all right so we will do the same for b uh, it's just that the b it come with the two bracket 2x minus 1 times x plus 2 with a bracket dx so the first step when you see a uh, bracket you have to expand first okay by using the arrow we will multiply the 2x with the x so we got 2x squared then 2x times 2 we got 4x then minus x okay then negative 1 times 2 is minus 2 so we need to do expansion first so after you expand uh, you have to simplify uh, after simplify then only you look at the power and then you integrate if it is constant you will get a constant with the x by using the formula 1 and 3 again so uh, after you simplify you will get 2x square plus 3x minus 2 dx okay so after you simplify you can start to integrate so when you integrate please do not write the sign of the integral okay so now we want to use the formula 1 and 3 so you will have 2x uh, 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus 3x 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 minus 2x because 2 is a k and you have to plus the c then only you simplify okay 2x 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus 3x 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 minus 2x plus c and you simplify your answer to the simplest form okay answer must be simplest form if you never simplify the answer they can minus your mark is considered not the final answer so please remember answer must be simplest form all right so uh, for indefinite integral you will have the constant there so okay so after you do normally you need to double check uh, double check whether you apply the formula correctly or not maybe the power okay so always double check because the power is so small sometimes you will overlook and also you need to measure you plus c yeah? okay now let's see the example two now when you integrate uh, this kind of uh, indefinite integral the power is there so when you see there is a power like 2x plus 1 to the power of 2 dx we will choose the formula for because uh, 2x plus 1 with the power 2 dx we can uh, do without expansion we just use a formula number 4 okay. according to formula number 4 you integrate the constant with the bx plus c power n you will get the uh, a times bx plus c then you raise the power by 1 over the power being raised up by 1 and then you plus c so uh, this formula is applied for the quotient with the power so 2x plus 1 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 but you don't forget you have to write the 2 there ok 
Okay, there is a uh, two x in front of the x. There is a two, so you need to divide the two. This is very important. Okay, for the formula number four, you need to divide by the b. Okay, a b x plus c m plus one divided by m plus one, and then you have to divide by b. After that, you simplify to the simplest form. Okay, uh, I notice that may, many students will forget about the being divided by the constant. So please remember that there is always a constant in the bracket. So we need to divide. So finally, you need to simplify your answer to the simplest form. Okay, let's see the D. The D normally when you do this kind of question, you have to make sure you can see the A, X, N. But uh, here we need to simplify. So for this question, we have to divide by x square and we simplify. So 2x, uh, 3 divided by x square. So you get 2x. Minus 3 divided by x square, you get minus 3x to the power of negative 2. The power you need to raise up. Okay, 3 over x square you must write at 3x negative 2 why because the formula number 3 okay the power must be n okay so by looking at the formula that's why we will change a uh, uh, fraction into indices okay then only we can integrate so now we will simplify so 2x cubed over x squared become 2x minus 3x negative 2 dx. Then only we can apply the formula. So we will use uh, formula number 3. Okay, formula number 3. Okay, so we will uh, use a uh, formula number 3. Then we will just uh, take the power plus 1 over power plus 1 okay so our answer finally we get 2x square over 2 minus 3x uh, negative 2 plus 1 over negative 2 plus 1 plus c so be very careful so your final answer may, must be simplest form and also be very careful with the negative and negative uh, it become positive so always double check and make sure you plus C after you integrate. Okay, so uh, because uh, the careless mistake tends to happen if you never alert. So please double check. Okay, every time after you do, you double check. Okay, so also please memorize a formula like uh, formula number four. I'm not sure whether it's given in exam. So it's better for you to memorize it. So it's easier for you to apply later on. Okay. So for example two, we have different uh, pattern of the integration. So before you want to integrate, you think first. Oh, uh, this one is belong to which pattern? So if the power is there. With a bracket with a power, we always use number four. Okay, so the question, the formula for number four is very important. So please jot down and uh, try to go through the formula as many times as you can, so that you can uh, remember the formula well. Okay, let's go through formula number one. Integrate k dx. k is a number. Example 2. Integrate 2, you get 2x plus c. Alright, so k is a constant. So for formula number 2, integrate s power n dx. So you get x n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Okay, that is formula number 2. For formula number 3, ax n. So integrate ax n is ax n plus 1 over n plus 1. And the fourth one is the chain rule a b x plus c so when you integrate m plus 1 over m plus 1 and you have to divide by b okay make sure you divide by b so we are going to use a formula there to solve the a and b and c and d okay so for 
A we will use the formula that you raise the power by 1 okay so negative 10 over 4x 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 plus 6x 3 plus uh, 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 minus 5x plus c then after you integrate you notice that the integral sign you cannot write again so if you write the integral sign that means you are wrong so don't write the integral sign after you integrate after the power raised up by one no more integral sign but the c must be there so then you simplify so negative 10 divided by 5 and the 6 over 3 can be simplified so make sure your answer is simplest form okay so the final answer for question a is negative 2x power 5 plus 2x power 3 minus 5x plus c Okay, let's uh, discuss B. We need to do expansion for integration with the bracket. We expand x times x, x square minus 4 plus 1 minus 3x, 1 times negative 4, negative 4 dx. Okay, after everything perfect, expansion, you have to double check. After everything perfect, then only you integrate. Okay. After you integrate, make sure you don't write the integral sign. Okay? You drop the integral sign. When you take the power plus 1, you cannot have integral sign. But you have to plus the C. So always double check because we tend to careless. So it becomes x power 3 over 3. Okay, 2 plus 1 is 3 minus 3x. Three 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 minus 4x plus c. So then you simplify to the simplest form. So it becomes x3 three over 3 minus 3x three squared over 2 minus 4x plus c. So we are using all the formula there to get the answer. Uh, notice that the last formula a times bx plus c to the power n plus 1 over n plus 1 you have to put bracket times a b so the formula there was a bit problem okay let's see the example 3 this is application for the integration which is very popular so when you read the question when you see gradient function you write dy dx is 3 minus 2x okay gradient function then you draw the curve okay the step 2 the function of the curve are uh, you want to find the function of the curve again you must memorize the concept y is integrate of dy dx so then you integrate carefully and you substitute the uh, point okay into the uh, function so that is step number four okay when you substitute the x and y into the function then you solve it you get your c equal to five okay finally you have to rewrite your uh, function again okay let's uh, try another question so gradient function so the step one we write dy dx equal to x minus 3 because gradient function it is dy dx huh? so dy dx is x minus 3 so we draw the curve okay dy dx means tangent to the curve and then we label the point step two we just substitute the point into the dy dx and then 2 minus 3 so the dy dx is negative 1 that is actually gradient of tangent to the curve then for b we want to find the equation of the curve same thing we have to uh, equation of the curve is y so we have to integrate the dy dx so when we integrate the dy dx we write y equal to x square over 2 minus 3x plus c then we will substitute the point p21 into the uh, function then we will solve and find the c which is 5 after you found the c you have to rewrite again okay 
so your final answer it must be y equal to x square minus 3x plus 5 that is the complete answer for the curve okay let's discuss the partial question SPM question you're asking to integrate this so you use a chain rule take the power raised up by 1 then over the power raised up by 1 with the 2 must be divided eh? then we will do comparison okay then after we compare we can write down the answer for n for answer for the p okay so the first step is you use a chain rule second step you use the highlighter okay highlight and then you do the comparison to find the value of p and the value of n Okay, let's see this uh, question. Uh, you are given the curve y equal to gx. gx is the curve. Curve is y. Eh? Then you are given the straight line uh, which is tangent to the curve y equal to 11. So you also given g prime x. Do you know that g prime x is your dy dx? Okay, so that means the dy dx is given. So you are asking to find the equation of the curve. Equation of the curve is actually your y. So your first step is uh, you have to uh, make sure you start with the gradient function. Okay, because the gradient function is your dy dx. So you are given g prime x is dy dx, negative 4x plus 8. So step 1, you must know that g prime x is your dy dx. Step 2, because you are given the y equal to 11, so at that uh, uh, y equal to 11, your gradient tangent is 0 because it is a turning point. So when you see turning point, your dy dx must be 0. So we want to find out what is the values of the x. So we will take dy dx negative uh, 4x plus 8 equal to 0 then we will solve the x so negative 4x uh, plus 8 equal to 0 that means 4x equal to 8 so x is equal to 2 so when you have x equal to 2 that means your turning point is at 2 11 so you label 2 comma 11 that is the turning point and this point is very important because if you want to find the equation of the curve, uh, you need to have a point so that you can solve the constant C. So right now you are having dy dx. So as I say just now, if you want to find the function y, you must integrate your dy dx. So we write y equal to integrate negative 4x plus 8 dx okay so you need to integrate term by term correctly okay after you integrate you don't write the integral sign you just instead of write the integral sign you cannot write because you have to write plus c okay so after you integrate you cannot have integral sign okay i just want to remind you because i noticed that many students repeat the same mistake okay so step four we want to integrate so when we integrate always start with the y is equal to negative 4x square over 2 plus 8x plus c okay Remember the C is very important. Then only you substitute the point into the Y and the X. So you solve the C. So always check the logic sense. Uh, the C is positive. So you get 3. is quite logic. Lah. Finally you write back Y go to negative 2X square plus 8X plus 3.
Okay, let's have a look of this question. Uh, this question they give you the uh, dy dx also. That's the same thing. They give you the d dx and inside the d dx they give you gx. Okay, that gx is actually the y. So that means they give you dy dx. So you're asking to find the curve. So you write y integrate the dy dx, which is 3x square minus 2x uh, minus 6 dx. So by using the formula, so you will get the y equal to x cubed minus x square minus 6x plus c. So you need the point to solve the constant. So we will substitute x and y value from the point into the y. Okay, after we substitute, we can find the constant c. Okay, uh, so after you find the constant c, don't forget to rewrite again your y. So for step 3, we want to solve the constant c. So we will substitute y and uh, x into the function okay when you substitute you do it carefully okay so when x is 3 so y is 19 so we substitute 19 is equal to 3 power 3 minus uh, 3 power square minus 6 times 3 plus c so we do it carefully and we substitute carefully also so the y is 19 and the x is 3 we substitute carefully then we solve the constant c okay after you solve the constant c you always double check to avoid careless mistake so now we substitute 19 is equal to 3 okay cube it should be minus you see there is a mistake there right it's not plus okay minus the 3 square minus 6 times 3 plus c okay so after you simplify you got your c you have to rewrite again your y equal to x3 minus x square minus 6x plus the c that you found which is 1 okay so our equation of the curve will be y equal to x cubed minus x square minus 6x plus 1 so make sure it's complete. So the constant must be a value. Okay. So this is called equation of the curve. And for your information, equation of the curve is very popular in exam. It seems like almost uh, every year we can see this kind of question appear in exam. So please uh, try your best to understand the concept of integration because integration now become a very important topic seen last year okay they start to set the integration uh, for section uh, a sometimes is section a is compulsory okay so you have to double check your answer every time you do in order to avoid careless mistake all right so for your information integration and differentiation you must really understand in depth understand the concept okay uh, if you cannot understand the concept you notice that it is very hard for you to answer so my advice to you is make sure you uh, clear your concept first if you cannot understand the concept you must approach the teacher and ask the teacher to explain to you until you understand the concept 
Then after you understand the concept, you must memorize the concept. Because if you understand for that moment, then you forget. Okay, you forgot for after sometimes you never practice. Then you notice that the concept suddenly will disappear from your memory. So that is why we want all the admed student to practice a lot. Okay, example like the concept of differentiation and integration. Integration is a reversing process of the differentiation. So this concept is very important. Please remember. <laughs>